About six months ago, I made a video um, about how to dispense uh, solar flux, um, predominantly in regards to these tubes that you can get from China. Seems like there's quite a lot of people that do struggle with this type of tube and exactly how to use it uh, properly. Um, I often see people with a, a screwdriver and just shoving it in one end and squirting it out, but it's not exactly a precise method. At the time, I just got in this plunger, which you can buy off of eBay, Banggood. And at the time I thought it was okay. It just simply clips in there and it pushes that red plunger that's already in the tube downwards. However, having used this for some time, it's not as good as these cheap ones. Um, the reason being, when you're squeezing the flux out, unlike these, if you squeeze too much flux out you can pull back the syringe and hoover it back up also when you're putting down flux to stop the residual pressure coming uh, pushing the flux out again all you have to do is pull back up and it stops the flow going out the trouble with this this isn't the actual plunger this is just basically like a rod that is pushing down onto that plunger so what force you have when you squeeze the flux out I've stopped squeezing, and yet there'll still be, I mean, it looks small, it, it looks a small amount, but when it's on a circuit board, it can equal a lot. And as I said, you can't hoover this back up by pulling that out because it's, it's just a floating stick that's on the plunger on the inside. I have a solution. Um, on eBay, I think I paid about £1.80. And it's a female feet to female Lurlock uh, adapter. I've not done this yet, so it's the first time I'll be doing this on a video, so I'll probably screw it up. So basically, you've got the tubes of the cheap Chinese flux, which I still rate. I mean, it is a copy, but it does everything I want it to on an amateur level. So this fits straight into that these syringes you can buy off ebay or where, wherever you can get them from they are quite cheap to buy um, you then can get the blunt needles and cut them down to size i have different sizes they come like that blunt needles i've shortened that one so essentially we just need to connect the other one up you have to make sure the plunge is all the way down if you leave it out and then fill it up you then put in the plunger back in which is going to create an air pocket so you have to make sure the plunge is down and as i said last time for the first time and last time use only use a screwdriver to push that in and as you can see it's doing the job perfectly. That said, there'll be a bit of splatter when you pull these things off. Yeah, pretty much thought that. And then for a change, I mean, it's like with this one, if I compare that, you can see there's quite a lot of air between the plunger and the flux. On that, it's eliminated the problem very well. So you can whack on your blunt needles. I did also buy off, I think I'm sure it was eBay, uh, uh, various gauges of actual needles. I, I have no idea why. Um, I just figured that they might come in useful at some point. But they're actual, these caps that cover the needles fit on these perfectly. Probably not needed, but it just saves any leakage. Um, so the adapter, which I've now lost. How the hell can I have lost that? Is it in the... Okay, time to order another one. There, didn't take it out. There's various prices, so just have a look. I think the cheapest one I saw, I'm sure it was about £1.80, £1.89. 
There is plastic versions as well, um, but they sell them in like bags of 10s or 20s, which I didn't really need. I just wanted one to try to begin with. But as I said, it's it's done the job perfectly well. And with this one, you can actually pull back the plunger to either hoover up the flux you've put on, if there's too much there. And when you are squeezing it out, if you know there's going to be residual pressure forcing flux out, you can always just pull it back in to control the flow a bit better. So nice idea in theory for the metal plunger um in practice no i'm going to stick with these cheap plastic things <laughs> 